Welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. I'm your host, Time Pants, and today we are going after the big prize. That's right, the final mission of Capital T, Capital D, Capital D, the Darkest Dungeon. That's right. So we are bringing along Sir Francis, uh, sort of a call back here. Is this an unnecessary risk, taking a level 5 character with a pretty deleterious disease? Uh, is that is that an unnecessary risk? Absolutely. So, Sir Francis, if uh, if we lose, this this one's on you. No pressure though. All right. So, I just want somebody else involved here. There is absolutely no reason to bring that. I just want somebody. You know what? Let's just bring it just in case. Just in case we get a hunger event. But yeah, there's absolutely. No reason for us to risk anything here. Let's bring as much as we can. Oh boy, alright. Okay, alright, okay, alright. Okay. Alright, okay. We're okay. Alright? Let's go. <coughs> oh, that's right, I forgot. Okay, uh, let's do this. Yeah, for some reason the most recent patch has made it a little bit slower and a little bit laggier for some reason. I'm not really sure what that reason might be. Alright, so here we go. In all my terrible researches, what I sought was a glimpse behind the veil, a crumb of cosmic truth. I found it here. And in that moment of brain-blasting realization, I ceased to be a man and became a herald, an avatar of the crawling chaos. So, the moon ring is a no-go. That is very unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> All right, so here we go. If we ever do have a sequel or some DLC to The Darkest Dungeon, well, I have some ideas. Life feeds on life. In your petty pursuit of family redemption, you consume those who rally to your cause, and in so doing, you strengthen the thing, accelerating the end. This is as it should be. It is why you are here. <laughs> All right, the tension is beginning to build here. I'm, I'm getting increasingly nervous. And clearly that is being reflected in my characters here. All right, so my ideas, of course. Um, first off, Nothing but Houndmaster-like classes. All dog classes, please. You can call it the Barkus Dungeon. Thank you. We are chained here forever, you and I, at the end of the world. Free yourself, rouse the thing, and embrace the ineffable cosmic hideousness that lives within us all. Job time pants, you're killing it. All right. Just, uh... A little bit more jibber John, and then we're gonna rumble here. This scares me. This actually does scare me. Um, let's do it. Oh boy. Oh you boy. still All foolishly right. consider yourself an entity separate from the whole. I know better. And I will show you. Unfortunately, we lose some of that. Yeah, we lose some of that initiative here with, uh, with those guys going first, but that's all right. Hopefully, we can get a kill here. That would be be fantastic. All right. 
Okay. Mm, probably can still get a kill. Hmm. No dice. All right. Let's keep it up. Their dodge stat is not that high, which is very good. Um, I think Sir Francis, without a second trinket, has been relegated to has been relegated to marking. I don't think that's terrible. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's let's do this. That's bad. I think that's bleed. Okay, good. I am very upset. <laughs> Let's... Shtoon. I think as long as this is going to happen, and it looks like we don't really have much say in the matter, let's just try and keep as much crowd control up as we can. Okay, so here is our first target. This is our first real test here. Let's... work on that. And we're actually going to try and get a kill here because we want to hurt this guy as quickly as possible. Does this have protection? It does not. That was just a bad, bad swing. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. That was kind of expected. Mm, that's unfortunate. Alright, I think this is going to be slow going, but I actually think that this is the most threatening part of the Darkest Dungeon, so I don't feel bad about going a little bit slowly here. Four per round. Let's let this thing die. I don't really know how to proceed. I don't want to let the stress mount too much. Okay, so we're we're gonna have to swing on a couple of these here. So let's take this one out, and it is not. Oh yeah, it is dead. It is dead. Okay. Bleed and stress. Okay, let's get this under control here. I should have expected that. Yeah, let's just take the kill here, because we don't want him to be healing. If he's got to... Yeah, okay. Yeah, if he's got to summon more, then that's gonna cost him time. It chooses... Is that... Stun and Marked. Okay. I'm not sure what that's gonna do, but I think we can pretty safely say we don't want it. Alright, so this has been this has been a great series, and I'm really glad that everybody's tuning in. He says as it proceeds boringly. Um, no, I, I really do appreciate everybody tuning in and and watching. Um, this has been the culmination of more than a year, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of, of how everything turned out. Even if it took me a long time to even figure out how to actually run a, a Let's Play, and if, you know, it wasn't necessarily the best commentary or the most interesting all the time, I was still very, always very, very happy to do it. So I really appreciate all the support that we've gotten, or that I have gotten, uh, throughout yeah, the entirety of this series, so thank you very much. I, I promise I won't get too sentimental here, but yeah, it is just 
something that I'm, I'm very proud of, how it all turned out. This stress is very unfortunate. <laughs> um, this is also unfortunate. But I think we should be able to get a kill here, yeah, without too much trouble at all. And likely we won't be able to get the Shtoon on this one, but I'm still willing to chance it. Okay, let's see, I think... <laughs> Good, great, real glad we, we spent the time there. One of the questions is going to be when we have the Abomination morph, and I think I know when. I think we're going to save it for the very, very, very end. Alright, so let's hex this one, since this is the most stun resistant. And fortunately, yeah, we should get a bunch of turns here right in a row, fairly uninterrupted, so that's good. Oh, this thing gets bonus stun resist. Well, I still think it's worth it. Yeah, even if we don't get it, we'll have a basically guaranteed kill. Perfect. There's a crit well spent. Awesome. <laughs> and, yeah, as long as he's continuing to... As long as he's continuing to summon. Let's really, Sir Francis, pack your bags, dude. You are you are on your way out. I am very I am so disappointed in you. Disappointed. <laughs> Sir Francis. Good grief. I am not happy. <laughs> Alright, um... Despite Sir Francis continually letting us down, I think we are actually looking to... maybe... close out this particular section of the battle, and, and this really is the one that I was most concerned about. So... Of course, no, no stress relief here. Yeah, this is proceeding generally well. Yeah, like, like I'll, I'll take it. Let's try and get a kill. I was contemplating maybe healing up here. Okay, this is not bad as long as whatever is supposed to happen here doesn't. So let's let's try and make sure that happens or not. We might be able to get a kill here and that would be excellent. So let's just do that. Perfect. And I apologize for the play-by-play -play style commentary here, but I don't want this to mess up. Like, I really, really don't want anyone to die. Ugh. Okay. I think we need to start thinking about maybe some healing here. Maybe. Nice, but stress relief here would be fantastic, of course not. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now, hopefully we can get one more to pop up here. Alright, I think... Stun this. And then let's bear down here and see if we can actually take this out. Mm. Starting to wonder if we can, though. 
Yes, I think we can. So hopefully we'll have a chance to heal here. No, okay, I think... I think we just take it. All right, on to the next. The flesh is fluid. Okay. It can be changed, um, reshaped, remade. Mark? Yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to lose the use of our abomination for much of this fight. Oof. A uh, crit would be just fantastic. I really appreciate it. Yeah, let's let's just get everybody back in order here. Okay. Yep, definitely time to start thinking about healing. I think we can actually get a stun here, which would be great. Of course not. And minimal damage. This is... Not exactly how I expected this to go. But yeah, I think now it's really time to start thinking about healing. Oof! Yeah, let's... Let's just try and... Get him bleeding, hopefully. Get him stunned, hopefully. Please? Okay. And I think this is our chance to get some good healing in. Alright. Ah, okay, I am... I am nervous. <laughs> Let's do this. We don't want him to accidentally stack up additional, like, bonus... Uh, like, bonus stun resist. So, let's just go as hard as we can here. That's good. Alright, again, pretty good. I think we still try. That's super lucky. We might actually have this here. Yep, we we might we might have it before he gets to take another turn, and that would be just phenomenal. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think we have this before he takes another turn. Alright. I don't think we're going to get another stun, so I think we just absolute. If that's just stress, that's fine. Okay, damage debuff also, but he was not our damage dealer. Okay, please don't bleed. I think we have him. Yep, he's dead. So, I mean, might as well. Okay, alright, alright. He is not dead. I guess he's got to transform. <laughs> okay. Oh, the okay, flesh okay, is okay. we got it. I it think is we got this. Pray it does not take too hideous a form. Alright. Oh yes, this is where we get to heal, so I think everybody should do one of these. <laughs> Sir Francis, you're killing me. Hopefully we can get some crits here and try and get the stress managed. least a stun. Good. Alright, I don't know what this thing does when it is unstunned, but let's try not to find out. Hopefully we should be able to get everything under control here. That's more blight. Huh. Alright, 
but we should be able to get everybody's health up, and I think... Oh, okay, I think it has an AoE Blight. I think that's what it is. And I think if he gets to do it, it's probably gonna suck. So, let's... I don't know why I keep referring this to this as he, because, like, it's, it's gestating. So, clearly, it has some sort of, like, discernible gender. And... Probably, probably not male, I'm just going to guess. All right. Do we do it now? I'm going to say yes. I think we're going to try and take this out before it gets a turn. Mmm, a little uninspiring, to be honest. Okay, let's take care of this. I think we've got it. Okay, good. Behold, All right, I think this is the managed. heart of the world, <coughs> progenitor of life, father and mother, alpha and omega, our creator and our destroyer. And let's try and get this managed here. Yeah, that... having it marked already... good stuff. Alright. <laughs> Please don't hate me. Rolf? Hmm. How many more rounds have marked? We're gonna lose some... Um, Okay, we're gonna lose some damage here. Sorry, man. Tough break. Sorry, Sir Francis. You did your best. I'm real proud of you. You know, good job. We've got a very nice gift basket for you. stress. We... Alright, I think we might have to ditch Evike. Hmm. Maybe. Minimum damage. Okay. Sorry. You're out. That's a lot of damage. I think we got this, though. Yep, we got it. Alright. Well, I just want to thank everybody very much for watching. We did it. And, you know what? I actually did bring something special for the occasion. I have some Corbel Champagne to uh, celebrate. So, uh... If you're, uh, if you brought something to drink, this is the time. Cheers. Mm, that is $14. Victory. A hollow and ridiculous notion. We are born of this thing, made from it, and we will be returned to it in time. The great family of man. A profusion of errant flesh. Multiplying, swarming, living, dying. Until the stars align in their inexorable formation. And what sleeps is roused once more. To hatch from this fragile shell of earth and rock and bring our inescapable end. So seek solace in a manner befitting your lineage.
and take up your nugatory vigil. Haunted forever by that sickening prose echoing through the infinite blackness of space and time. Ruin has come to our family. Well, we did it. <laughs> we did it. We actually did it. So, I mean, that's that's the end of that's the end of our new game plus. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I know that I wasn't always the most consistent in terms Perhaps of things are not updates, as bad as they seem. <laughs> um, in terms of progress. Uh, in terms of my playing ability, but um, we did do it. Huh. I mean, I guess everything still ends at 91. Well, I really do appreciate everyone watching. It's been fantastic. I, like I said, I don't want to get too mushy, but I'm, I'm really happy that things went as well as they did. Uh, my goal when I first set out to do this was to get 100 views consistently um, on, on my videos when they went up and for a really long time uh, especially when the game like the retail release hit I actually did do that and obviously I could not have done it without you like I literally could not have done it without you the viewer uh, who is watching this so thank you very much I really appreciate it and uh I'll see you next time.